In this video, I'll show you how to create hyperlinks in Microsoft Excel. I have a table of contents here. I have a whole sheet with uh, this little list where I have yellow, green, blue, and purple. And I will add hyperlinks to each of these four items so that they could link to the yellow worksheet, green, blue, and purple one. The way to add hyperlinks in Excel is by selecting the cell where you would like to add your hyperlink, go to the insert tab which is the third tab over here from the left and select the hyperlink button from here and after we press the button we get this insert hyperlink wizard which lets us select between an existing file or web page a place in this document we can create a new document or we can add an email address but for the scope of this tutorial i'm just going to use the second option and since i've selected the yellow option i'm going to select yellow from here and that's one way to do it. Another way is simply right clicking on the cell and you have the hyperlink option at the end of this drop down. Select it and then just select your option. And now that I've added hyperlinks to all my list items in here, it's time to test them. If I click on purple, you can see that I'm being moved to the purple worksheet. The same if I click on blue. And the same thing happens if I click on green, I'm being moved to the green worksheet. And another thing that you could do is to add back to home, for example, hyperlink in here. And in each worksheet, you could have a hyperlink like that, that will take you back to your table of contents. I'm just going to copy it really quickly to all my other worksheets. And if I click on it, you can see how easily I'm able to navigate between each of my worksheets and my table of contents. I think this is a this is a really useful option sometimes. If you have like a report or something like that with a bunch of worksheets, you can create a table of contents, keep it at, at the beginning of all the other worksheets and then just add hyperlinks between them. And this way it will be easier for you to work in that worksheet. Well, that's it for the video. If you learned something new, please give it a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.